legal? Like government It'd be illegal. Coke? Yeah, government coke. It'd be for legal. recreational use, right? For recreational use. And mm-hmm. they're going to do it in a pilot program. So it sounds like they've so already... So only just... people that fly planes are allowed to do this? What? The pilot program. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like... <laughs> What was that, what's that movie with Denzel? <laughs> the flight? Like, they were my drugs. They were my... <laughs> they were my cocaine. <laughs> Whatever he I mean, says. I was high to accept. I was high to... I did it. I did it. They were I my actually, drugs. I mean, I... I like, That's a good cause, movie. Because there's like a lot of jokes going around of like... You see the pilots getting fucking sauced at the bars before flights and stuff. And it's like... Yeah. Uh, alcohol, I don't know about that. But like... I wouldn't... Mind? Care that much if, if my, my pilot was yacked out? If my not yacked yacked out, but what like, drug are you okay with your pilot being heavily on? Probably cocaine. Cocaine, heroin. No, no, because he's gonna be falling asleep. asleep, bro. Meth. No, no. He'll be doing irrational decisions. He's gonna be like that guy that tried <laughs> to clean. fucking. He'll try to take the whole fucking thing out apart and he's clean it, and put it back like, together. I took the engine out. I think something's wrong with it. We're good. We're good. It's all. Good. I got the. I got the. Oh, guys, how man. many engines did you say we needed to fly uh, across uh, the Atlantic? Ecstasy or Molly? No, no. Just he's just cocaine. over the just intercom the whole li- time. Literally, pretty you guys much just my cocaine. Best flight ever. This is the best. This is the best <laughs> flight the ever. Best passengers I've ever had. Guys, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I touch all of you to show you how much I I I, I just want to say I'm so grateful for all of you. I'm just gonna put some music on. Is anybody feeling music? I'm gonna dim some lights. Gonna dim the lights. He puts the rain lights on. It's a Delta flight. You get the purples. He's like, mm, mm, mm. No, be the what's it called? The Virgin. And he'd yeah. be like, zoom, yeah, zoom, yeah, the Virgin zoom, Airline. Zoom, zoom. You're There's, right. I wouldn't mind that. You're right. I I no co- cocaine's you know, de- it depends. We five thousand milligrams of an edible. No. What the fuck? Bro, to no one. Going, nobody can do any job on Nah, like, dude, you're not awake. You're not you're not alive. <laughs> you, your pulse is barely pumping, bro. <laughs> Literally cocaine's probably the only one where I'd be like a bump or like a line like a line. Like if a dude did a line Especially for the long flight like to London. Uh huh. Like two like a line at the beginning, a line midway through. I'm like, all right, well you're keeping yourself little awake. I'm not what am I not gonna be mad at that? Little pick me up. Stronger than coffee. But yeah, so so Switzerland's gonna pilot it and it's crazy because the their language is so different than ours like uh they talk about um yeah, dose. A whole different dialect well right? n- not that but like the way they they talk about cocaine so they ca- talk about in doses so a dose of cocaine is equal to basically a beer so which is basically dose, a like line i'm guessing a line i'm guessing that's a, like a bump it was a point one point two I don't know, but it says you can get a dose of cocaine for 10 francs because they use the franc. 10 bucks. So you can get a half a gram. Yeah, that's like bucks. a line. That's a line. Maybe 0.3. Maybe like, I, th- I feel like that's a solid line. Like a follow, like a, like a, well, point for 10 bucks. is a solid line because it's not like by yeah. a gram and only yeah. do three lines. Which is basically they're saying it's, <laughs> they're based, so they, I don't know. You've hung out with some people, I'm sure. Yeah, like, no, uh, rock star lines, they go quick. I mean, basically their whole thing, yeah. <laughs> Grant, like, they're doing, like, <laughs> real, they're doing some gator tails, you know? But like EDD lines. It's kind of a crazy story because, like, their whole thing is, like, the war on drugs doesn't work. And then also, doesn't. Switzerland's one of the richest um, yeah, countries so in England, it. or in, in Europe. They yeah, so they're they like, it's it. already here, they want it. Why not? I'm with it. The inflation's pretty crazy. I'm kind of into, it. yeah. halfway across the world to get over there. I mean, try it out. See what I mean, happens. It's not that much farther than London. Yo, if I could go to a bar, if I could go to a place and you can serve up one dose, if you're just buying lines, I don't feel like you would. I feel like you would buy them when you need them. Well, okay. Say, like, there's a guy who's like, do you had know what I mean much. by that? He's had too much. He's like, okay, you, well, you serve need- that guy a line. You know, he's good for it. And then he's like, okay, we could. Dr- <laughs> he could drink more now. <laughs> Oh, because you get sober on every. Yeah, I wouldn't but, say sober, but you think you you're are. fortified. You no, think you're. that doesn't make sense because we're American. Neil deGrasse Tyson had the same thought. He said, "You know, if Home Depot just rented tools out and you could just rent a tool, no one would need a garage." Like, bro, we're American. We just want shit. Yeah, they yeah, do rent tools though. Exactly. No one really rents them out unless they're going to do some one one time. Like if you're gonna do something yeah, three time. times, you yeah. buy a tool. <laughs> when, when people want to build, when people are trying to redo their their uh, um, bathroom on their own, that's when they rent the tools. Rent some, rent big, rent ones something. That, like, they have to cut some shit. Like if you're trying to cut like a um, what's tile, it? yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you want to rent a good wet tile saw mm-hmm. for sure. So that'd be the thing that you're renting. Hopefully, yeah, not I mean, everything that you need. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm kind of like. I feel like I could see this happen if it was a thing in Vegas. I guess you'd see Vegas would be like... It probably already is a thing in Vegas. We just don't know. 
Mm. Well, no, that's just buying drugs. That's, that's what <laughs> yeah, that is. Yeah, there's a difference. That, that's just well, being I think, like I think somebody just, goes, cocaine. Because I think everybody but the United States still think the, the war on drugs has failed, except for the United States. Like, I they're thought still, it was working. They're, they're like slowly coming around because like financially, I think like, oh, they're making so much money off of like weed, <laughs> recreational weed, you know? Like, yeah, just the tax. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, there's still no, a lot, a lot on just the tax of records. Well, they're still making, there's still a lot of, a lot of unlicensed, yeah, like, for sure. dispensaries for sure. and stuff. Those but, are the like, better ones too, because it costs you so much to be fully licensed mm-hmm. and to uh, document the product all the way from seed to consumption. Well, I will say the prices much. have vastly dropped. Yeah, they went I mean, back because they went, they went dropped. sky high when yeah. we like, like when the first legalized recreational. Mm-hmm. Totally, but now it's back to where G3. it should be. Yeah, G three days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, G3, what, 2014 shit, or something? Bro, like that? that was 2013, 2014. That was a long time ago. I feel like that was like 20. That was a long time ago. Do you think if? Do you oh think, yeah, that's got to be like 2000. Yeah, I feel like that was above yeah, classic, right? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. we moved to yeah. K Town in 2011, been, mm-hmm. so yeah, for sure. Yeah. Do you think that the idea of uh, legalizing cocaine is a, a a problem? No. Yeah, like. It, I mean, the whole thing is like, but that comes down to, um, who's, who's, that's hard who's to say because it's like, well, no, it's like, um, like, are you going to operate a motor vehicle after? Are you going to, what are you going to do afterwards? Like, I think if you're to me, what's strictly the recreational though, if you do drugs, you're going to get them anyway right now. I mean, I do. It, it is. I agree because it's like, so the, if it's legal, it's just easier for me to get them. The I'm thing, still going to do exactly what I, can I think do. like the biggest drug that impairs your judgment and um physical alcohol. like is alcohol yeah like that and it's legal yeah i mean obviously it's not legal to drive but like people still drive i think that's like the biggest drug but it is funny looking back in time seeing videos when they were taking drinking away oh from dude people. those are hilarious like they're taking uh, communist I america mean, the taking- texas one was funny but it was a, a different place and it was i think that it was it was uh no it was like in europe or somewhere Maybe it was over here, but they were. It was like, dude, it was black and white. The footage was old. Yeah, and the dude oh, was shit, just that's old. It was old. So the guy was just like, uh, they had a, a portable breathalyzer bag. It was like a bag with something. It was some janky looking shit though. And he blew it and he says, "This says you're drunk. It says you shouldn't be able to operate a motor vehicle." He's then they like, would be like, "Oh, let's let's keep your car here and then just walk home." Exactly. Type of thing. And he was like, "Well, I am." He's like, "So this new law is it's not going to change anything you do, right? You're still going to drink and." operate your motor vehicle he's like mm-hmm. well i feel like i can drive yeah i've done it yeah i'm no more drunk than yesterday famous last words <laughs> dude i no, mean like honestly though with painkillers like when people have like if, if if i went to the doctor tomorrow and i was like uh, i threw my back out and it hurts really bad they'd be out of me they would be, be like samson you want some flex rules or something like that would be generally the hey we can give you something for it then and then like you take one of those no one's being there's no like, don't drive, don't do it. I mean, it says so on the thing, but no one's going to give you a. No, <laughs> no one, one reads. Well, no, but no one's giving you a breathalyzer for that. You know what I mean? Like, there's no like. <clears throat> yeah, you need the blood blood test. Yeah, you have to do the fucking full blood test. And, and I guess you got to be really, really fucked up. I, I, the only thing I wonder about the, the legalizing is does it, for the people that are always like the ones who never buy a bag, they always just wait for like their friend to have it and they do a line. Do those people will then now start buying because it's available? No. It's easy. No, it's easier cheap. though. Not it's even easier, cheap, but it's just, like... it's just the same. Still, so they if they're, I feel like it's not going to change your um, normal routine. I feel like when weed came up, it still took forever for like older people That's to true. go to cl- like it took. That's very true. It took years after it being completely recreational. You know what I mean? Before like older people felt like it was okay for them to go and buy weed. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't yeah. think it changes too much. The, now, the people that are like do it, it may change uh, how they get it because they may have to go through less hoops to get it. So, you may see a, a, an initial surge of maybe negative effects, but I feel like after it levels out, just, yeah, yeah, the, it'll, the be, it'll be or even a little less. It'd probably be less. It probably would be less. I, I, it is funny to see, like, at the dispensary down the street. You guys have been there. Yeah. Um, to see, like, the clientele that walks through there. It's, like, all it's whatever. everyone. Oh, it's which everyone. Is all, which is, like, all walks of oh, life. But everyone can benefit 10, from this. 15 years ago, it would have been one type person you see in the clinic. 100. Us. A stoner. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I was trying to think about a stoner. The, I started when I when I read about the Switzerland thing. I started thinking about when we went to the place out in Eagle Rock. Oh, yep. That was natural like, caregivers. Natural care, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> NC. Yep. Get our fucking wreck, and that's the whole thing. And it was literally just a very unique one person experience. Yeah, no. It's like when you go to Guitar Center, you are gonna go see people that <laughs> shop there. When you go to Bath and Body Works, you're gonna. See See, see people, people that, that shop, shop there. there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bath and Body Works. So yeah. It's like, oh, uh, I think I'd be down for it. Actually, it couldn't hurt. It could I don't only think. Help. Yeah, yeah. Now the question for me is like, does cocaine start having stupid names that weed has now? No. Do you start? Do people? Well, no, because you start. Is there strains to, of cocaine? Exa- there? No, but you would have. <laughs> how do you sell it then? Good, better, best. <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> Yeah, but who's See, selling it? Like That's what I mean, cocaine? though. Like, would it be just in the government? Yeah, packaging? it would just have to be just like I want, that, I want I want government, that gum pack. I don't want government cocaine. <laughs> I want that government cheese. You get that fucking like cheese. food stamps and government cocaine. <laughs> Well, the whole thing is like I, I feel like um, because they did that with weed. Like there were government farms that had yeah. like weed, yeah. but it's like they don't. They will, they they will hire certain shit. They won't know. They won't get the right people to do it. No, nah, um, it'd be like the same thing with weed. Like. I mean, okay, like all these legal shops popped up, all these people with money came in, and then it's still just now who grows the best shit. Yep. It's not who has this biggest facility, who put the most money. It's like, no, who has the best product? Yeah. Because all the product is the same fucking price. Yeah. Especially <laughs> now. Especially so now. So if I care about it, it's like anything, alcohol, whatever, I just want the best for my money. That's reasonable. I feel like you're you're Trey's asking reasonable. for a reasonable thing. Yeah, Trey. So I mean- <laughs> reasonable Trey. <laughs> You know, well, government like, coke do you, might be do you, hitting though. So I guess with this one, it's like government coke. <laughs> do you want the shit that will make you shit within but like? That's what I'm saying. No. They would but have in a like, good way. Okay. Yes. I, that's what I'm saying. Yes. They, they have. Like, the, yeah. They have. Yes. They have. I feel like it would be like an in and out thing. They have I want three the gold bag. On the, you want the gold? That's what I'm saying. I want the gold bag. Do you want bronze, bronze, gold, silver, bronze, silver, gold. Yeah, gold? I want gold bag. I want the stuff always. that will make me shit, but not in a bad way. Maybe not always. Because, I mean, what happens? If you're like, working, maybe don't, maybe if you're going to work, you don't want the gold bag. You want what the if you want to stretch it out, though, and you buy a, a gold yeah, and a bronze? That's the stuff you can't breathe, then. What if you buy a gold and bronze and mix it together? <laughs> then you're stupid. Why? That's like it's buying tin. That's like buying good whiskey and Jack Daniels and putting them together. Like, why would the fuck would you do that? You want it more. Your mm, flavor savers? Failure. It has properties of a good. Making your own, like, cocaine jungle juice. <laughs> Uh, fridge liquor or freezer liquor jungle powder <laughs> fridge liquor <laughs> that sounds racist as fuck for some reason fridge liquor do you have something do you have something against irish is that what you're saying uh, i love it i love it i love it i love it all a little freezer wine nothing wrong with that yeah i i if anyone's to do cocaine first in the states i they I have small noses Hippie anyway Vegas. too in sweden Hippie right Vegas. Well, they're white, so yeah. Well, we won't know the yeah, effects that's of lips. being negative. I would say right? lips, not noses. <laughs> we all suck, dude. No, I'm down. Let's legalize it all, dude. I heard it here. For real, though. Nope. Would you be inclined to try anything if it was legal? Obviously. That I, that I have never done before? Yes. No. Why? Because I can already get it. But why don't you want to do it now? It's legal. Exactly. So like heroin or something? No, I wouldn't want to do heroin thing. if it was legal. I don't. I've always wanted I have, to, but I, I have a very, like... I have a very strict rule about heroin. Oh, Which really? Is? What is that? I want it to be like a doctor to like. What's the difference? You, you are you gonna do this? Are you gonna do this when you're when you're on your deathbed? Yeah, you're like, I want to try sure. heroin, yeah. bro. Yeah. If I know I'm gonna die and be like, yo, well, I guess I'll do heroin now. But I, uh, like, let me feel this goodness. Wouldn't it be better? If felt like you may have a chance to live after this. No. Because I'll be addicted to that shit, bro. I'm not, I'm not trying to live with my addiction. I want the one I and done. I mean, like, it's suppo- I don't think I have a physically addictive personality. Like, y- have you never been addicted to anything? I know I don't because I've done way too much. But then it was like, it, it was I, like more well, you're like. You're not addicted to anything. Come on now. We, it's more like a. Yeah. Sca- it's, it's, it's like for, me, for me, it was like <laughs> escapism. It wasn't the actual. Yeah. Like, yeah. The, but that's what all the things are. It's just the best feeling of escape. No, it's, but like. We are not weed, like alcohol, heroin, like, I mean, this is just judging my studies and whatnot, but they're like physically addictive. Your body actually becomes yeah, dependent. You start craving but I, I think at the same time, because it's like weed is like mentally addictive, mentally. like because it's so safe that you, it's in your daily routine all the time. So like, I mean, anything that you turn into a habit is, yeah, is technically an addiction. It's a habitual. There are the ones that your body craves, which is a body which, craving. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. So like, I get that. I think like, but 
that's why I wouldn't want to be healthy and do like well, like, heroin. I, I never I ain't got, trying I never, to get that. I never got like um, feels great, do we? Addicted for like you know like <laughs> when when we were experimenting with like E and like Molly back in the day. Like, you guys both I think, DMT though, right? I think it's really hard to be like addicted three times, four times in my whole life. I think I think MDMA. MDMA by itself. Talk to some of our friends. I think that's very hard to become addicted to. Just MDMA. Does I understand. Your come downs longer than the fun. No, but I understand pills. I can see how people want to get expired to get addicted to pills because you got that methy up or whatever is mixed in with it, and like a lot of times you feel like the upper. So in high school. But like, you don't go up again when you're coming down and try and go up. Yes, you do. No, you just Not keep. As high. You just keep the correct. Just, it's yeah. the roll. That's why. Hence the term the roll. No, I'm no. I mean, I've felt like I've gone to excess with excess to t <laughs> yeah i think ecstasy but but it's like you it's always get, cut with something though yeah but i'm saying like that first initial like that's as high as you go then you just yeah it goes down yeah you, you hit your get, peak yeah you never get and then back you go there. down and then you try the peak again but you will peak but it's a lower bit yeah it's that's a, what i'm saying intensity peak. wise yeah but i still think though that's 74. why people find it i think that's why people find it addictive because they want the peak the dragon. they want the dragon but then tomorrow i feel like shit yeah, that's, yeah. Then you do E again. That's, no, so that's how yeah, you know you're physically addictive. That's, thing, that's, that's how like, you know you're you you're not drugs and you're, you're old like now. One of the people. That's what that means, bro. I mean, I've always done that. I'm everyone like, on this, feel everyone on this, 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 uh, no, this podcast. Right, I would be like, I would just we go just to work in the city. Yeah, go deliver wedding cakes. Yeah, you seven a.m. the next. You day. were able to do <laughs> drugs and then go to work the next day, and now it's like you can't do that now. No way. Like I mean, you could, but I probably could. You just would feel like shit. You're gonna feel. You're gonna feel. You feel bad. <laughs> That's all. It's like how hangovers are now. You're like, I can do what I'm doing, but wow, this is. Why do I want to do this? Why would I want to do this? Shout out to all the homies out there still rolling their faces off. Like, good for you. Catch on the next we're, wave. We're here for you. Tell oh, me. speaking of waves, California coast. Great transition, Sean. Well, I mean, that's a layup. Got to knock them down. Thirty foot waves. Off the California coast. The Central Coast, right? Yeah. Central Northern Coast. Well, didn't Central see more surfers. Huh? Surprised they didn't see more surfers. They are now. They are now. They were warned a lot, but now the surfers are coming out because they're like, okay, it's been a few days. We can see what's going on. Now we're going to the, out to the places. So I guess generally our waves are eight feet. They're not big over there. No, nah, but yeah, it's it's from Ventura and Pismo, San Luis Obispo and Pismo. Yeah, all throughout the area. And they just being smashed. Oh, so with it's like, like lower to, central. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah, like yeah. southern mid California. Mm hmm. 20, 30 foot waves that, and like. The pier was getting pummeled. It was over. Yeah. There was a couple times it went, it hit the pier and went over. I don't know if it was. Which pier? I'm guessing that's Ventura. Probably. It was, yeah. The waves were, and they were coming at least 100 feet 